Looking to improve your game? You can now sign up for CFB Pro using the promo code LVD, get access to articles and deck guides by the world's best. Search for glory. Well, sometimes you search without finding. Uh, what else do we have? Well, Demon Bolt's looking good. Uh, the Uncommons are all playable. Rune Eyes, Glade Warden, Invasion. There's Struggle. I think Demon Bolt over Struggle for the most part. Probably just a Demon Bolt. Invasion's a ton of fun if it works out for the Blue Red Giants deck, but pack one, pick one, I'm always taking Demon Bolt here. Not a very exciting pick, but it's a good card. And then we'll have to keep our eye out on what to potentially wheel. Is there a few good green cards, including Snow-Covered Forests? So that's probably the most likely to get out of this pack. Well, I haven't drafted a whole lot of red-black, but Poison Cup is tempting. Judge of Valor could also be decent, but that's going to require some fixing if we also want to play the Demon Bolt, or we have to abandon it. Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of down to try red-black. Doesn't have to be red black aggro sacrifice necessarily, but kind of red black mid range can maybe work. Hope to wheel the Sulphur's Mire, Disciple, could be okay. Could this be a path to the World Tree deck? Yeah, probably not. Crush the Week seems okay if we're gonna go with a more controlling deck. And then we can hope to wheel like a Haggy Mob, passing a second Snow Covered Forest so someone can have the snow cards here. Sure. So we're aiming for kind of red black, more controlling. Never mind, make that blue red. Not gonna pass Behold, there's no great red or black card for us here. I mean, Wither Crown could actually be okay in this deck since we're. Aiming for a more controlling strategy, so that's where Wither Crown is at its best, as opposed to in a more aggressive or mid range deck. Haven't had a whole lot of experience with Dread Rider as a win condition. Doesn't seem amazing. So far, we don't have any creatures to go with the Gold Vein pick, so that doesn't really jump out at me. So, not, not exactly clear what we should take here. Could take a land, but it's double Y to activate, so that seems like a stretch. I think I'll take the Kin Seekers. There's a decent chance we end up in blue red giants, and then Kin Seekers could be fine. And there's another Kin Seekers, although. Don't know if I should pass a Shimmer Drift Veil. Six pick Glade Warden and Horizon Seeker, so some decent green cards pretty late. Center Heart Giant could also end up being solid if we end up blue red giants, although that would require us to wield that invasion of the giants, which is maybe not gonna happen. Veil just seems great, especially if we're planning to splash, since we're not sure what our colors are yet. Uh, this pack's pretty underwhelming. Sanctum could be interesting with enough changelings, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, Sanctum is going to be difficult to support if we end up in a three-color deck, but it could be good if we're just a two-color deck with a bunch of changelings. Uh, not a huge fan of Yeti, even in the snow decks. Could see an argument for Priest if we end up more heavy snow. Although we've passed pretty much all the snow cards. I'll just take my 20 gems here. All right, eighth pick Invasion is a great sign for blue-red giants. Now, if we also wheel Invasion out of our pack one, pick one in the next one, then we're definitely committing to blue-red giants. If we don't get that one, we'll have to reconsider, but... Yeah, if we can get Invasion and then get some of those Cinderheart giants, I'll be pretty happy to go blue-red. All right, perfect. I'm committing to blue-red giants. I don't think I'm gonna pivot from here. So if we can get a Cinderheart Giant, that would make my day. But I'll take Inga Rune Eyes. Perfect. Alright, we're committing. 
Blue Red Giants. I'll take a stroke, I think, over Mists. Although it's close. Mists is nice to kinda buy time until we can start dropping Cinderheart Giants on our opponent. But we also have a Crush the Weak as early removal. I'll take a stroke. And Invader. So more big expensive giants to cheat into play. Double center heart. We're doing a chat. All right, this is going to be blue red giants. Probably not going to play sanctum. Double invasion is an excellent start. Invader definitely not as good as center hearts, but we might have to play it if we don't end up with enough author giants to choose from. If we can pick up some snow lands, we can enable Bergstrider, which is another good giants. And probably going with, hmm, this is close, Dwarven Hammer versus Squash. There's also Snow-Covered Mountain for future Bergstriders, although I don't think I'm prioritizing it. So, Hammer versus Squash. A lot of our giants have built-in trample already. Doesn't strike me like the best Dwarven Hammer deck, but Dwarven Hammer is always great, so I think this is close. Squash is definitely the card we're most likely to wheel, since not every deck wants it. Whereas pretty much every red deck will play Hammer. I think I'll go Hammer. Alright, Demon Bolts over Snow-Covered Island. Seems good. I guess we'll get our Squash now. Don't think we're massacring anyone. I think just a streamlined blue-red deck is going to be fine, no need to splash. Although Ice Tunnel's sort of tempting. Hmm. We have passed a few Avalanche Callers this draft, but we've had our fun with the Snow cards in the previous draft already. Probably just another Squash. Would love to pick up some cheaper Changelings, Mistwalkers especially, would be great here. Yeah, I mean, Avalanche Caller could still pan out if we take it here. Just need to prioritize Snow Lands, which we haven't done so far. Nah, we'll just take a Squash. Keep it simple. And then gotta take Ravager over Dual Land, sadly. Craven Hulk, also fine here. Well, this blue-red deck is shaping up nicely. I'm not gonna pass Behold. Alright, double Demon Bolt, double Behold, double Invasion of the Giants. Deck is shaping up quite nicely. The only kind of common staple we're missing is Mistwalker. Yeah, the uh, the two-drop wizard would also be fine since we have a lot of non-creature spells now we can ramp out. And it also counts as a wizard for Ravager. So even though it doesn't look like we've got a ton of two-drops, we do have a few foretell cards here which makes our curve look a bit better. Usually I draw the line at two Cinderheart Giants, but this might be a deck with double invasion where we can get away with three. And it's not like I'm going to play anything else in the pack. First copy of Bind the Monster is still fine. Alright, we wield Squash. Although, there's also Snow-Covered Mountain. This is actually close. I think Mountain might have more upside since we already have like 20 playables here, including a land going into pack 3. So I don't think we're going to struggle to get enough playables. But we might be able to increase the quality of our deck overall by taking a few snow lands and then ending up with a Bergstrider at 5 instead of some weaker options. And uh, Frostpire seems perfect here too. Don't have a ton of 3-drops, so Thief for Curve would be okay. But Frostpire is just too good to pass up here. Alright, we got our Thief, if we want it. The creature types sadly aren't very relevant. Don't think I need second bind when we have double Demon Bolt, double Squash. Alright, I'll take a Departure Realm, I think, over Mists. Gives us a bit of utility if they put an enchantment on the giant, we can still bounce it and replay it so we don't struggle to close out the game. 
And Craven Hulk, probably gonna make the cut too. Alright, so card I most want to get at common, probably Mistwalker. So let's see if we can open one or two here. Well, I mean, Glimpse I'll definitely take. There's another Invasion, which we should be able to wheel, assuming we're the only blue-red Giants deck. So take Glimpse, hope to wheel Invasion, passing a second hammer, that's okay. Take our card advantage here. Well, well, well. What do we have here? I'm kind of sad that we opened Coma, to be fair. Because our deck was, you know, landing up so nicely. We had a very streamlined Blue Red Giants deck. And then we had to open the best card in the sets, at least if it's in play. It's debatable with uh, the Mythic Angel Token Maker. Hmm, I mean, Coma's going to be difficult to cast. You know, it's 40 gems at the very least. I don't think we're going to miss out on a Craven Hulk or an Augury Raven too much. Uh, probably Behold now. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to be able to cast Coma. We just have the one Shimmer Drift Veil. We'll, we'll see in deck building whether or not we can fit it in. But, uh... Will be hold for now. Well, this gives me maybe an easier time splashing coma. There's also waking the trolls, but I don't think we need to necessarily expand our green splash too much here. And there's also no blue red cards I really want, so I would probably play Highland Forest if we ended up with a couple uh, Berg Striders anyway. <laughs> All right, I don't think we're wheeling this invasion necessarily, so I'll have to take it. And then triple invasion, triple uh, center heart giant looks like we've got a plan. There is also replicating ring, which could help with splashing coma, but not the way to go in this deck at least. I think our blue red deck is going to be just fine. I'll take my twenty gems. And uh, I'll take my Uncommon for the Vaults, no need for Raven form in this deck. Or most decks, to be fair. Hoo hoo, Frostpire Arcanist, hello, welcome to the deck. This card's perfect, we've got double Demon Bolt, triple Behold. And we wield Invasion. For Invasion of the Giants, we're definitely going to play triple Cinderheart now. Yep, also have double squash for Arcanist, so no lack of targets. So we're not going to get any Berg Strider, sadly. So we did miss out on a few key commons for the archetype. No Harbinger at 2, no Mistwalkers, and no Berg Striders. But uh, do we want Craven Hulk? Yeah, probably. Don't know if we'll end up playing it here. I'll just make my mana base a bit fancier. All right, well, I'll take that random squash, why not? I'm afraid Koma's not going to make the cuts, no need for Highland Forests. And then... Question is, do we want to play Shimmer Drift Veil as a tap land? Probably. A bit of mana fixing doesn't hurt. Do need to make a few cuts. Our four drops are kind of stacked. Inga Runa is it's kind of okay in this deck since we have quite a few spot removal to pair with it. Triple Squash, Double Demon Bolt makes it possible to potentially draw three. Uh, definitely going to need Triple Sinner Heart to close out the game since we're kind of light on win conditions otherwise. And then... Thought Thief seems cuttable. I uh, don't love Invader usually, but it's probably playable with four invasions. Yeah, Bind the Monster is probably our weakest removal spell here. The reason I like it is that we have a lot of Fortel cards. So it kind of fits in our curve since we're lacking three drops. But I guess two of our Fortel cards are Demon Bolt, which is single red to cast. Yeah, I mean, probably don't need it. 
with triple squash we should be able to handle most opposing creatures. They usually only go up to 6 toughness anyway. Yeah, the curve is a little chonky. So we could get run over by some aggressive decks. Which is why I want to keep the Departure Realm. And of course Crush the Weak is going to be pretty helpful there too. Craven Hulk is probably one of the more questionable giants just because it doesn't block by itself and we don't have many creatures to play early on. So it might be the first creature we play. So I could see taking out at least one. Yeah, we might have too much card draw, which is not something I find myself saying very often. With four invasion, triple behold, and glimpse the cosmos. Is this a deck where we cut one behold? No, can be. I think 17 lands will do. Especially with all this crying card draw we've got going on. I'll probably play the snow lands just because. So we've got essentially 8 and 8 plus a dual lands, kind of. So the creature I like the least would be Invader, but Invader is something we can cast if we start out with a turn to Invasion on turn 4, whereas for Cinderheart we have to wait until turn 3 to play Invasion if we want to cast it on curve. So that's something to like about Invader here. So we'll probably have to keep it. I don't want to cut too many creatures since we're pretty creature light. Disdainful Stroke is good with Triple Behold. We've got a lot of instants. We could shave maybe a Squash. As it is a two mana removal spell, but only starting turn, turn 5 really, since we don't have any cheap changelings. So I could see shaving one of them. Given that we have four invasions, I could maybe shave one Behold the Multiverse, even though it pains my heart. It does give us kind of a turn 3 play, if we don't have anything to do on turn 2, since we can foretell and play it on 3, and our deck doesn't have many 3s. But we do have a few foretell cards, so I can probably cut one. Alright, Hammer is going to be the cut. Alright, let's uh, find a nice name for this beauty. Our Blue Rats Quadruple Invasion of the Giants deck. Alright, unsurprisingly our opening hand features Invasion of the Giants, which, you know, I could play on turn 2 in order to play turn 4 Invader. Yeah, I guess it works, and then turn 5 Cinderheart. Uh oh. Alright, let's see if we can find a crush the weak. More invasions. Oh boy. Um, I think I bought them both. Arcanus is nice with Behold, but it feels like that's not going to be the issue this game. Basalt Ravager can also take out Magda at some point. And we just want to hit our land drops to make sure we can curve out. Which giants do we show our opponents now is a question. Uh oh. Hmm. I guess Invader gives them the least information, probably. Alright, we gotta find a Crush the Weak here, otherwise, we're gonna get run over. There we go. It also exiles the shield mates so they don't get their 1 1 token. Mm hmm. Play more creatures, please. We won't be able to play Invader this next turn, but. If we miss on a land drop, I guess we'll have to play Invader turn 5. 
Oh yes. This is gonna be the best crush the week you've ever seen in your life. And we can still play our Cinderheart Giant next turn. And we still have a few leftovers here. They can use armory, probably can get like a bounding gold for our cinder hearts. Right, just a Valkyrie sword. Alright, now we gotta start thinking again. Six mana. Can I guess probably just play Invader end of turn. Opponent's just dead if they don't answer the board here. Alright, sweet. Well, that was a satisfying crush. Yep, sign me up. Can we go an entire draft with Invasion of the Giants in each opening hand? Alright, so Behold, let's see. I guess I wouldn't be able to Behold by the time we can play Arcanist, but that's fine, we can just play Arcanist turn 5 without a discount. And then I get to keep up Stroke and Behold. So now we can Invasion pass and have Behold stroke up. Mm, do we want Inga? Inga's okay. I think I'd rather try and find some Cinder Hearts. Right. We get to Beholds, it resolves. More invasions. And a glimpse. So... Next turn I'm probably just gonna keep up Stroke again and play Arcanist with a discount. So then I can either Glimpse or Invasion. Mm, I think we keep both. And then now... Probably Invasion again. And then just pass with Demon Bolt and Stroke up. Where are my Cinder Heart Giants? And if we Demon Bolt, we can also get a second one with Arcanists. Potentially. If not, another Behold will do. We've dealt six damage with invasions so far. So get behold. And probably just pass a turn here. Keep up stroke. Opponent hasn't done much so far. Perfect, right on time. 
Again, Cinder Hearts and then probably Fortel. I guess we do have a glimpse of card draw, so maybe I should foretell the removal spell instead here. Sure. Hopefully no coma in our future. If they play another Lindworm, we could behold and dig for Squash to take care of the worm. I think we'll be just fine here. Alright, so do we glimpse? Do we behold? Can play Kin Seekers and get a counter. Probably gonna end up bolting Firewalker and then attacking. A wealth of options. Probably wanna keep up the pressure with Kin Seekers. And then I can glimpse bolts. I guess we can glimpse first. Alright, there's a squash. So, point is a 12. Is this a demon bolt? Alright, fair enough. Still get to... I guess we don't get to scry here since it's part of the trigger. That's okay. I could have attacked first and there was a good chance they would have double blocked Cinder Hearts. But if they didn't, this seemed better. But our opponent's in trouble. Got more removal, more card draw, more threats. Berserker. Alright, Berserker is nice, but don't think it's gonna get to untap. So, what do we have to be concerned about here? Like a snakeskin veil if we attempt to squash. Right now, our opponent would have to. Double block, center hard giant, take two from Arcanists. So they can get us if they have like a snakeskin veil. So there's an argument for attack first, let the trade happen, but I might end up losing too much pressure. Mm, let's see if they have a response if we cast a spell here to see if they might be holding a card, which is a little sneaky arena trick. Right, they've got something. Yeah, I think just attacking is fine here. They might also have a bounce spell. And if they do double block Cinder Hearts, they would also lose Outriders, so they lose their entire board. Uh -huh, they did have Snakeskin Veil. So glad we played around it. Does Cinderheart not target with the ability? I guess it doesn't even target. Oh well. That's okay. Yeah, there was no need to squash there. But at least we got to see the snakeskin veil. No invasion. That's a first. Do we keep a hand without invasion of the giants? This hand feels too slow and fair to me. Is this crazy? Mm, 
All right, still no invasion, but we do have a demon bolt we can foretell in the meantime. And then what to put on the bottom? Might be Cinderheart, might be Basalt Ravager if we draw invasion in the first couple turns. I'll keep the Cinderheart here. It's not going to pan out if we draw another Cinderheart, but we've got four invasions versus two Cinderhearts in the deck, so I think this will, this is still okay. Craven Hulk, a nice four drop. So hopefully we find an invasion soon. Bone on the green, foretells, so I could keep up this Daneful Stroke here in case they have a pack mate, which I would rather counter than destroy. We end up wasting a bit of mana if it's not. Alright, now I probably gotta tap out for invasion to try and hit my land drops. Let's see if they were playing around Stroke. Although I imagine if they had the wolf, they probably would have run it out. Alright. Another Glade Walker. Crush the Weeks looking good. Oh, never mind. They made a 3 3. That makes sense. Alright, so we will be able to Cinderheart. I guess we don't have to show them Cinderheart yet. So next turn we want a Cinderheart, so this turn, probably foretell Demon Bolts, and then keep up Stroke. I mean, this could be any number of foretell cards, like the deal 5 to attempt creature. Could be the Angel that returns a 2-drop. I'll take 4 and then end of turn Demon Bolt to 3-3, I think. Could be the Fight Spell. Stalwart Valkyrie dies to Crush the Weak. So I'm just gonna Demon Bolt Glade Walker now. So they shouldn't have an easy time destroying my Sinner Hearts. And even if they put a Bounding Gold on it, I still get my cheap Squash, which is good enough. Now we do have to be careful with Crush the Weak if they have deal 5 to Tapped Creature, because then they could finish off Sinner Heart. There's also the Frostpire here, which could be activated to deal 2. Got a couple options here. Kind of like Craven Hulk, keep up stroke, take another three from Valkyrie. And I'm probably not attack with Cinderheart on the off chance that it's the 5 2 tapped creature. Although, if it's 5 2 tapped creature, they're still trading their entire board and a removal spell for the Cinderheart. It's just that we might be light on pressure if we lose our 7 6 here. Going Hulk, keep up Stroke, and then next turn, Crush the Weak seems reasonable. We are missing out on a lot of damage, but we're kind of playing it safe here. It's close. I mean, we do have more threats in the deck, for sure. But a few of them are on the bottom, so I'm kind of afraid of losing Cinder Heart and then being unable to close out the game before our opponent draws out of it. The alternative was casting Crush and not playing the Hulk and keeping up Stroke, which was also reasonable. But we can probably afford to take three. Alright, if this is a Chaos Onslaught, we can still Squash. 
So I think we let this resolve. Take seven. Alright, they don't seem to have another pump spell here. Yeah, I think I'll take seven. Nah, they did have struggle. So now I can squash in response or I can stroke. Squash is probably better. So now we know what the foretold card was. I can crush the weak attack, still have stroke up and close out the game pretty quickly. Alright, Kin Seekers is excellent. So, there are scenarios where if I tap out for Kin Seekers, we could die next turn if they have the flying equipment, equip attack. So, Crush the Weak is definitely the safer play. And keep up stroke. And then my opponent's taking 11 down to 7. Even if they deal with giants, they're going to be dead in two turns. So. I guess the flying equipment's only one additional power. But, you know, there's definitely other combinations of cards. Alright, so, you know, we played it safe this game by playing around the different Fortel cards. Turns out they had the Fight Spell, which was totally within the range of cards they could have had, but uh, still worked out. Alright, no invasion. Do we mulligan again? I mean, I don't think I can. I've got Demon Bolts and an Arcanist to get a second Demon Bolt eventually. Can run out Ravager just as a 4-2 if needed. And we've got a few draw steps to find Invasion. A Raider. Good target for Ravager. Next turn we get to keep up Stroke and Demon Bolts. Turn for Ravager, take it from there. Ah, Frost, so pretty likely to Disdainful Stroke something here. Don't think I can foretell Behold. Unfortunately, need to keep up our counter. We'll take two. Opponent does nothing, that's surprising. Alright, I guess we'll untap. Now they could have a Demon Bolt in response to Ravager, so the Raider doesn't die. So, you know, we could be patient and then just foretell Behold, pass with this Devil Stroke Behold up. Yeah, I don't hate that actually. Because we also need to hit our land drops, so. Can probably afford to take two more. They probably would have foretold Demon Bolt, that's right, but could be a Frostbite instead. I'll take a land. Do I want another Demon Bolt? I think I want to find Invasion, to be fair. And I can get second Demon Bolt with Arcanist eventually. Alright, so how about now we play Ravager? Although well, I'll be tapped out on the Stainful Stroke. So if our plan is to keep up Stroke, there's not much I can do here. Just tap land pass, take another two. Again, just tap out for Arcanist, get another Behold. It's not the worst. 
Could be a little sketchy if they then drop a lindworm, which we don't have a clean answer to. Close call. It does feel like they have some sort of burn spell here. Yeah, let's just drop an Arcanist. Alright. Get to shuffle our decks, so Demon Bolt's not on the bottom anymore. And now if we play Ravager, even if they kill it in response, we'll still have one creature in play to deal the one damage. No Lindworm, please. This Vela. Alright, this Vela is acceptable. So a Snakeskin Veil or a Pump Spell could save it. Otherwise we just want to bolt it. So... I guess we can play Ravager first, see if they have a response. And then most likely kill a Raider. And then just bolt, play Shimmer Veil. Alternatively... An invasion. Don't really want to let them untap with Zvela to start making tokens though. Yeah, I mean, I don't think they're gonna protect the raider, but might as well sequence it like this. Yeah, I could also attack with Arcanist and then Ravager Zvela, and then they would bolt in response, but then they could still have a protection spell. Alright, they did have the Frostbite as expected. But Raider still dies. Alright, that worked out. So most likely this is just a Demon Bolt. Ooh, Chariots. Would have been a nice one to Disdainful Stroke. I mean, we can squash the Chariot before it attacks. So, I can Invasion, keep up, Behold, Disdainful Stroke and Squash. Could also use Frostpire to kill the two tokens, which is also reasonable. Although I would like to keep up Stroke if possible. And Squash is a clean answer for Chariots. So... Let's get this invasion going to get the mana discount soon. Glimpse looks good. I could foretell beholds, but then I wouldn't be able to squash and stroke, so I think we just pass. it down and then we still have our land to eventually deal with the tokens all right our deck is going off now so just want to I guess hit land drop for the turn not in a hurry to use frostpire opponent could be holding more creatures that die to it could tap out for Cinderheart anyway, but if we can keep up stroke, we probably should. So I can glimpse and then pass with Behold and Stroke up. Alright, opponent's gonna concede super far behind. And we've got a ton of cards to work with. We're on the play. Sadly, no red mana for invasion and no card draw to smooth it out this time. Alright, this is better. I think we'll sadly have to depart with Departure Realm. Let's 
Sentinel. So I think we wait on Invasion, just because I want to be able to Behold before playing Arcanist, and if I want to play cheap Arcanist, that means um, I would play it on turn 4 if we play turn 2 Invasion, and I need to Behold first, so... Green-white, opponent foretells, hits us for one. Alright, Undersea Invader, so now going Invasion plus Taplan seems fine. Glimpse and Cinderheart. I mean, those are both good. Do I keep both? I also need a fifth land if I want to play Cinderheart on five. Although I will get to Glimpse here. We will have Arcanist for another Behold for card advantage, so it's possible I don't need to keep Glimpse. And instead we dig for lands and removal, which we might need instead. But I'll keep Sinner Heart because it's such a powerful card if we can ramp it out early. And then next turn we'll have to Behold to dig for land. Seeker. Another good matchup for Crush the Week. Alright, what can they see? Invader, maybe? So we'll behold. And then Invasion, I think. Alright, so definitely take the islands. Do we take land 6 after? Don't hate land 6, I mean, ramping towards activating our lands also reasonable. So I might want the extra land. Yeah, I think I keep both. So next turn we get to Cinder Hearts, and then maybe the turn after activate Frostpire, we'll see. Arcanus can get another Beholds, find more action. Just gotta make sure we don't get run over. Alright, I'm glad that they're boasting instead of adding more pressure and maybe removing the center heart with like a bounding gold. Raven Wings is gonna be a long-term issue though. So yeah, Bounding Gold's probably worst case scenario. I'll happily spend a turn activating Frostpire to get rid of these small creatures. Maya. Well, that's uh, a very big problem. Now our Frostpire no longer works. <laughs> and Crush the Weak, which would have been awesome, but now doesn't quite get the job done. Now I can foretell Crush and then next turn Frostpire plus Crush. So that's probably the plan. And then hope that we don't get run over here. So foretell Crush, leaving four mana. Can play another Invasion and Arcanists. I guess. Seems better than Invader, just to have an extra blocker. And then, by getting another Beholds, they don't know what card I'm foretelling here. This Damful Stroke, probably fine. Uh, actually, 
I might need to dig for spot removal because the wings might just close out the game, so keeping counter spells in hand might not be the, ba the way to go. Also, this nice long side beholds, assuming we can survive here. It's gonna be close. If they have any sort of anthem effect, like a trumpet blast, we're probably dead. I guess it's Warhorn Blast. Alright, just an attack for five. That's acceptable. Alright, so we can make our big play here. We've got just enough mana to do both. Would like to see another creature. Broken Wings, my invasion, that's fine. Alright, now I could also go Basalt Ravager, or rather Crush the Weak first, and then play Basalt Ravager on my end, that will still wipe the board. Yeah, I guess that's better. Just double checking here, everything takes two. Then we have three giants, and yeah, that should work. Clarion Spirits can be answered by a Frostpire eventually. Yeah, we've got some good Crush the Weeks this uh, draft, that's for sure. Colvori makes the Spirits. So, no harm in casting Behold first to see what we get, and then we can still activate our land if needed, or play Invader. Demon Bolts. So what happens if we Demon Bolts Kulvori, attack with all, then they put Clarion Spirits in front of Ravager, Spirit Token chumps Arcanists, but they have to essentially lose their entire board. If I activate my land instead, we kill our own Ravager here. Um, this gets two damage, and then they still have to block Arcanist or Giant. So I think I would rather use my land than a Demon Bolt. GG's. Alright, sweet. Beat a pretty cool looking green-white tokens deck in the finals. And yeah, quadruple invasion of the giants. Did a ton of work smoothing out our draws, helping us find that turn 5 giants that helped us close out many games. So it goes to show that even without any overpowered rares, the uncommon synergies can sometimes totally carry a draft. Of course we got pretty high card quality overall in that draft with a lot of strong commons, demon balls, behold, even had to cut one of them in the final build which is something hopefully I won't have to repeat. Get some more gems. Maybe we get lucky and open a mythic that we don't have yet. I'll take the wild cards any day.
Ooh, time for a kill. I think that's my fourth one. Got a full playset now. All right, sweet. So yeah, that's gonna wrap things up for today's stream. It was a ton of fun. So want to thank everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel. And you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.